Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ricardo Camargo. I am the creative director of Baker Studio. Uh, we are a creative agency in Encinitas, California. Uh, and for the last 10 years, we have specialized in what we call lifestyle design. We work with a lot of incredible brands, a lot that you haven't heard of, and maybe some that you have. And, um, but basically what we do is we create brand experiences that meld product and brand design at the same time. So a lot of our brands and products you know, start with one idea or a product. You know, product is king. It is the reason we are creating the story. And these are some of our, uh, our products here. So ultimately, that's at the end what we're trying to build the story for. So I wanted to highlight three brands and their products that really showcase what lifestyle design is. And they're probably the best examples that you could find anywhere. So Nixon is one. Nixon was started by two friends of mine in Encinitas 15 years ago. They have turned it into one of the best lifestyle brands in the world. They basically design for themselves. Design for the representation of what they want to be, you know, or what they hope to be one day. But essentially they design for 10 people, their team. It's actually more, but it's, that's the, the personification of their consumer is with this team. It is, from an aspirational point of view, what they rally design around. They're incredibly successful in the action sport watch category. It's an actual category. And uh, it's particularly in surfing watches, in tide watches. Not a lot of people need a tide watch with 230 pre-programmed beaches, 48 hour tide forecast, uh, sunrise, sunset, 100 meter water resistance, uh, heat down, uh, counter, but their consumers do. Not only do they want it, they, they feel that they need it. But what we all want is to live the lifestyle where we need that. So, you know, one day, that's it. We're ever put in this position. This is what we want. And we use our... The next is Skull Candy. So Skull Candy created the lifestyle consumer electronics category. They pioneered in 2003, and they basically took, at the time, a device. They didn't start in the headphone space. It was a link. It was, a, it was connected a cell phone and a music device. It was that far, when those were two things. And then the experience started to converge, and it became one thing. And then the headphone became what you identify with the lifestyle. So they took what was black and silver products, and created this palette, and this was a reflection of their consumer. We were brought in to design a headphone for one person, and this was Mixmaster Mike, a DJ for the Beastie Boys, and an incredibly specific product. This was a pro-level headphone for a touring professional. It had high-pressure drivers, two cable setups, mono to stereo, uh, switches, a mute button, ambidextrous cabling, and it goes on. This was so specific. But the point is it was an aspirational product. Anyone that needed that felt that if they had the opportunity to go on tour with whoever, they had the product. And then, of course, they continued and you know added their flavor to it. So, and they were incredibly successful and other brands have come along like the and, and continue. Another brand that a lot of people have heard of is GoPro. So GoPro now is a billion dollar company, you know, selling $500, $400 cameras that have incredible photos and, you know, imagery. But it started a simple problem. Nick Nicholas Woodman that started wanted to take photos on a surf trip. And you can only get these crummy photos out of the cameras so then he's decided, I'm going to create new technology and a new camera system, and I'm going to sell it to surfers. As you know, surfers are not really known for spending a lot of money on technology. But that was his endemic point. His endemic viewpoint was, I'm going to sell it to my friends, 
and their friends. So the whole idea of this endemic selling internally is that's the lifestyle. You're selling it to like-minded people and that built the community. Then as the product improved, the consumers evolved, the imagery improved, and then the brand started to unfold. And it started to get closer to what we see now. This is a long time coming before this quality started to happen. So in the whole point of view, was the intimate viewpoint of your scene. You're actually seeing the experience. So you invented that ability for every day for anyone to go with, as long as they have this product, is to feel that experience. So the takeaway is, first of all, don't be scared of what you don't know. Now, one of these founders came from the industries that they're now gone. They knew nothing of any of them. So that, that's an incredible thing. Be passionate. They became passionate. They became immersed. They listened. And then they delivered. There was not something that they were able to address in day one. And then passionate and, and really understood the market. And in the end of the day, you know, design is hard. You know, being and building companies is hard. But it's better than accounting.